And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, today we're taking a look at piranhas. Piranhas, uh, that deadly fish, which is probably more deadly in movies and things than it is actually in real life, although I would not want to swim with them or anything. Uh, but piranhas, this is a speed card game from the very famous designer Dr. Kenizia. Here's how it plays. In this game, the, the cards are going to be split evenly between all the players, which is not a very good even shuffle here, but on your turn, on one of the cards will be placed in the middle of the table. Okay, so you can see on this card it shows three fish, a small green fish, a medium yellow fish, and a large blue fish. Each player is then going to start going through their deck, turning over one card at a time, looking for a card that can be played into the middle. Now, for a card to be played into the middle, it's going to have to either, we'll come back to this one, that's a piranha card, it's going to have to be, uh, have a fish that's the same color, so blue, blue, but the card in your hand must be bigger than the fish out there. However, you'll notice this one has green and green. This fish is bigger than this one. If you're confused, the bigger the fish swim different directions per size. So I can place this one on top of this one, and then, ooh, this blue is bigger than that blue, so I can put this on top of that one. And you just keep doing that. Everyone's going to be laying cards in as fast as they can. A piranha card can be played if all the colors do not match the piranha. So red, there's no red in that card. I can place that there. And then someone can place a card on top of a piranha card if, again, all the colors on that fish do not match that piranha card. And in fact, it's possible for after someone has played, uh, let's say, for example, this is the top card here, and then someone plays a white piranha, I can play a purple piranha because you can play a piranha on top of a piranha. Once you go through all your cards, you pick up your ones that you've discarded, you keep going through, you get rid of your last card, you win. If someone makes a mistake, you call them out on it and they take a penalty, but that's basically the game right there. This is one of those fast reviews because you just saw how the game plays. That's what it is. The quality of the cards is, is fine. Uh, you may have to, uh, this is a Cosmos game. I don't know if this one is coming to America, uh, but there's no English rules in the box, but you can find them online very easily. But, you know, it's just simple. Go through your cards, play them out there. It's like numbers. You know, imagine if they were numbers, it would be kind of a similar thing. But you're using fish sizes. Now, they do one thing I do dislike, which is that the green, they have green and red, and they have different colors on here. And there's no differentiation between the fish other than color. So if you're colorblind, you can't play this game, really which I think is a shame. They, that, that, was, that could have been an easy thing to fix. They could have made the size and the shapes of the fish different. And shameful, really, honestly. It's just an, another easy thing. Even, even if you're not colorblind, it would have been easy to differentiate between the type of fish with the color. But other than that, it's fun, but it's really for kids. You're just going to sit there and try to get rid of cards from your hand as quickly as you can. It's not that different than others in the genre, except it does have three fish per card. So you're kind of, oh, does this color match? Does this color match? And the piranhas, you know, it's kind of like a wild throw down, boom, and now everything changes. But the more players that play, it's just too chaotic, right? There's just too much going on in the middle. I guess you could play with multiple piles and that would go better. But as it is, it's probably best as a small three, maybe four player game between people. Uh, one that families will likely enjoy, that is piranhas. Dice Tower Judgment approved for kids. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews, as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Zatvori vrata. Yeah. Yeah.